Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to another installment of Scott Selections here for Saturday, November 16th. Before we get into today's play of the day, a quick recap of what happened yesterday. Unfortunately, we picked up a loss with the Boston Celtics, minus 7.5, as they ended up only winning by 5. was unfortunate, as the Celtics just came out flat. The Warriors, for some reason, they've been awful for pretty much every game of the season, but whenever I bet against them, they actually look mediocre. Don't really know what that is, but either or... Uh, we look to bounce back with a win today. I know that there's a lot on the card in terms of college football and college basketball, including some NBA and some NHL. But in terms of the play of the day, we're actually going to be talking about college basketball, and it will be a matchup that's taking place at 8 p.m. between San Francisco and Southern Illinois. And we actually like San Francisco on the road here, laying the 1.5 uh, from on DraftKings, which is available at minus 112, and that will be the play of the day. Line originally, op- line originally opened up at minus 1.5. It's currently up to minus 2 in most spots offshore. And overall, I just think that there's a huge mismatch here. Southern Illinois is only 2-2 two and two overall this season. They're 1-0 and at home as they ended up playing uh, each of their last three games on a neutral site. And they lost two out of three in those. They really looked unimpressive. They lost to Delaware and Oakland. San Francisco, on the other hand, is still undefeated. They played all three games at home, but they were able to beat Princeton and Yale. And they have looked pretty solid offensively as they are averaging 89 points per game. Overall, I think that that number will come down based on the based on the pace of play with Southern Illinois. But San Francisco dominates in pretty much every aspect of the statistics. And the main uh, area that I like San Francisco in and where they should dominate is in the rebounding department. Southern Illinois is averaging 32.5 rebounds per game. And San Francisco is averaging 47.3, which means that San Francisco is averaging roughly 15 more rebounds per game. So based on that, I think San Francisco will be able to get a ton of second chance opportunities. Based on San Francisco's offense, they love to run a motion type of Princeton style offense, full of backdoor cuts, etc. So I think they should get open shots. They simply have a better overall roster. They're and they have they have a much more physical team and a bigger team, and they should be able to dominate the boards as well as limit their turnovers based on their offense. This team is built to operate in the half court as they are able to get wide open spots through constant movement from all five players. And I think Southern Illinois will be a bit overwhelmed uh, because of that. So for that reason, the play of the day will be on San Francisco minus one and a half, which is available on DraftKings at minus 112. I think they should win this game by about by at least five points, give or take. So, that, so I think there is some value on that one. Now in terms of some of the other leans on today's card, a lot to get into, but I'll start out with college football. Some of the games are already started. Uh, so far, nothing really important to report. Uh, it's fun mentioning that UMass is up 3 nothing against Northwestern when they were, when they were getting 38.5 points. But either or, in terms of the actual card, I uh, wasn't really a fan of anything when I was looking through college football earlier. I was leaning to TCU, but that game already started. And unfortunately, they're up 7 nothing as I had them in a parlay yesterday. But I also lean to Minnesota plus the three. I actually like them on the money line against Iowa. I know the line itself looks very sketchy as Iowa is the worst seeded team, but yet they're laying three. I just simply like P.J. Fleck as a coach. I think that Minnesota will be ready to play. I think this Minnesota team's undervalued. And I really just don't think that Stanley's that good of a quarterback for Iowa that he should be laying this number. I think the game will be very close. I think Minnesota's the better coach team, and I think they will find a way to sneak away with the victory. Other than that, though, looking at the rest of the betting card, uh, what do I like here? Uh, I would lean to the over... Uh, 71 and a half between Memphis and Houston. Houston, I know that their offense has been hit or miss, but they still love to play with a ton of pace. Memphis's defense is terrible, but their offense is still great, and I think that that game should have at least, I'd say, 80 points in it, give or take. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised to see Memphis drop 50 in that one. I think that game will go over the posted total. Other than that, though, looking at the rest of the card, uh, I would lean to, uh, what do I like? I would, I would lean to Oklahoma on the road, minus 10. Uh, which is available in some of the offshore markets. Uh, Baylor, I know they're still undefeated. They really have not looked great the last couple weeks as they were able to sneak away against West Virginia, as well as the, as well as an overtime game against TCU last week in which they arguably could have lost and they needed uh, a relative unknown kicker to make a 50-something yard at the end of regulation, and they held on. Oklahoma had a scare last week against Iowa State. I think that they're simply just too dynamic offensively, and I think Oklahoma should win that game by two touchdowns. So those are my thoughts on some of the matchups in college football. Now, in terms of the NBA, lean to the Bulls against the Nets. As a Nets fan, this team's just not very impressive. This team doesn't play any defense at all. Chicago, are they a great team? No, but they still have some talented youth, and I think that they should be able to win a pretty high-scoring game in this one. 
So I would lean to the Bulls on that one. Other than that, looking at the rest of the card, uh, I think that's pretty much it in terms of basketball. Don't really like anything else in terms of the NBA. Now, in terms of college, uh, I would lean to Belmont minus one and a half against Boston College. I just think that Belmont is a very underrated team. After a, after a very questionable performance in the first game of the season, they actually bounced back pretty nicely, and I still don't think Boston College is that good. And they're kind of built on reputation. I don't really think they have much talent on their active roster, so I would lean to Belmont minus one and a half there. Other than that, uh, looking at some of the other matchups today, uh, sorry, just looking through real quick. Um, what do I like here? So far, I don't really see anything else. Uh, I wrote a I wrote a couple of articles. Uh, for winners and whiners, I'm actually trying to find uh, which games I talked about on that one. But overall, I think those are my main leans on the card. I would lean to the under 139 between Temple and LaSalle. Uh, it's a rivalry game. I, th I simply They tend to play close every year. I simply think that Temple's just built for unders this year. They lost uh, a star player from last year's roster. This team plays physical branded defense. They don't really shoot well from the outside. And LaSalle struggled offensively for the last couple of years. And that game will go under. I think Temple will hold LaSalle to roughly 60-something points. And I think that game will finish under the total. Also, I'd link to the over in the Citadel and Campbell game. It's been bet up from 155 to 157.5. Uh, simply put, Campbell's one of the slowest teams in the country, but the Citadel's the Citadel. And you can't really go against overs with the Citadel, as that simply has turned out to just be free money in years past. But the play of the day will be on San Francisco, minus 1.5, which is available on DraftKings at minus 112. Other than that, those can do with installment of Scott's selections here for Saturday, November 16th. Good luck to all of you and your respective bets today. Bye, everyone.